Welcome to Third Wave Business Systems series on SAP's Business Objects Edge. Today's session will focus on how to get information you need when you need it. In today's demonstration, we will show you how easy it is to use universes pre-built by Third Wave to get valuable information about your business yourself without having to rely on IT resources. Business Objects Edge is a comprehensive solution to analyze your business end-to-end. Its intuitive web interfaces, flexible ad hoc reporting, robust query and analysis, and information-rich dashboards allow fast and flexible decision making for you and your firm. In this example, we will show you how to use Business Objects Info View to get access to the information that you need. All published and ad hoc reports reside in the document library. This library can be organized in many different ways by business area, by technology, by person. The inbox houses information that is for you to see alone or reports that have been run in an automated fashion and have been published to your inbox. Public folders are used to share information. Security can be used to either grant or restrict access to reports and data through this interface. In today's example, we will create a web intelligence document, a report and chart, to be published in a public folder and distributed. Once you begin to create a new web intelligence document, you can see on the left-hand side there are the universes that are available for use. These universes are typically pre-built by third-wave business systems and are available for customers. In this example, you can see that there are universes that include time, references, year, quarters, months, products, which gives you information about the products that you sell, customers, which is, which is information about the customers that you sell to, sales data, which includes revenue, discounts, gross sales, net sales, and calls into your data center. Through the use of drag and drop, as you see in this example, you can start to build the query and the report that you want to present. In this example, we have chosen the year and quarter, the region in which the sale took place, the gross sales number, and we filtered that query by choosing four quarters that we were interested in. By dragging and dropping four fields, we are ready to run the report. As you can see, a simple report is presented to you, and now you can start to configure that report in a style that makes sense for your business. First thing we'll do is change the title to Revenue by Region. Then we will take this table and turn it into a cross tab to make the data easier to consume. With only a few clicks, you can see you start to build a table that presents valuable information. This table does a cross tab of region on the left hand side and the year and quarter across the top. By quickly cut and pasting and copying the table, we can create a second version of that table that we will use to turn into a chart. By clicking on the Turn To, we can choose the chart type that we'd like. And in this example, I will choose a stacked bar chart. Quickly, you can start to see that we've taken this crosstab table and made it into a graphical chart for folks to be able to understand the data at a different level. There are many options when producing a web intelligence document like this. And this is just a few. But once the document is created, we can choose to save it and where we want to save it to. Today we'll save it to a public folder for folks to use and with un unrestricted access to it. So we'll click the Save button and put it in the proper folder. Once that save is complete, we can go back to that document list and schedule when we want the report to run. We can schedule how often we want the report to run. In this example, we will run it on a weekly basis. We can choose the day of the week it runs, when it begins, and what time we want it to run. When we click on the formats and destinations on the left-hand side, we can pick that we want it to be in Adobe Acrobat format, we want to email to, to recipients. 
and then we can choose the dis destinations of what recipients we want to email. Business Objects has a server defaults that you can use, or we can unclick that server defaults and actually choose who we want it to be sent to. Who we want it to be sent from, what the subject, have this folder as an attachment, and a message. Once this information is filled in, you are done. It's ready to be scheduled, and the schedule will automatically run next time the scheduled time comes around. This process is complete. You can see how easy it was to create it, to grab the information you want, create a report, show a graphic, and schedule it to be done on a recurring basis. I hope you enjoyed this part of the demonstration. SAP Business Objects Edge is an end-to-end -end business intelligence solution for a growing company. It is packaged for rapid deployment and designed to adapt to change requirements as your business needs change and grow. Third Wave Business Systems provides a quick start for Business Objects Edge. This quick start includes pre-built universes based on SAP data, relevant out-of-the-box reports, we can have you up and running in weeks, not months. And the universes we build provide complete, consistent, and correct data for your use. Third Wave can help you quickly deploy this powerful tool to your organization. Please contact us at twrespond at twbs.com or call 201-703-2100 to talk to your Third Wave consultant today.